Hello everyone. Let's take a look into the automation workflows we have designed. So the brief agenda for the coming video will be, we will first cover the Juniper ACL update workflow followed by Cisco ACL update workflow. Let's start first with the Juniper ACL update workflow. This is a workflow for updating ACL configuration on Juniper devices. Let us first go through the steps which are part of this workflow. The first block is a user input task wherein we will give the device ID, the name of the backup file, configuration file, and other essential parameters to start the workflow. Once the inputs are provided, the next step is to check the file names and in case of any invalid file, a fail notification is sent to the user. In the next step, we run the pre-checks on the device and then take an approval from the user to continue further. In case the pre-check output is not satisfactory, the user can halt the flow. After the approval is given, the workflow will take the backup of the current ACL configuration and then load the new config file which is provided as part of the initial user input. After the configuration verification is done, the next step is to run the post-checks on the device and then we also run a diff between the pre and post-checks. Based on the output of the diff, the user can choose to either roll back or proceed with the new configuration. Now let's start a new instance of the workflow. First we will give the instance name and once we have provided the instance name, we will click on start. To progress to the next step, we will need to complete the user task. We will go to actions and go to the user task. So there are three options in the user task that we have given, namely IPv4 config, IPv6 or both. We will select both options as of now. Now let's select the device ID from the list of devices. After the device ID is selected, we will give the backup file for IPv4 and IPv6 config. Similarly, we will also give the name of the configuration file for both IPv4 and IPv6. Next, we will provide the name of the ACL for both IPv4 and IPv6. And then finally, after verification of this information, we'll click on submit. We can check the progress of the workflow from the task viewer button on top. As of now, we can see that the workflow has completed the pre-check stage on the device. So after the pre-check, the next step is to provide the user approval, which can be found under the actions tab. Now let's complete the approval task from under actions. Here we have two options to proceed or terminate the workflow. Let's click on submit. After clicking on proceed. Now the workflow will progress to load the new configuration to the device. We can also see the details of the updated configuration in the task viewer. So under the task viewer, I can go to the task ID and then click on details of the task. Herein, we can see the IPv4 configuration that has been pushed to the device. Similarly, we can also check the new IPv6 ACL configuration. After the post checks will be run on the device, a diff will be generated and given to the user for approval. So in this diff, we can see the delta between the pre and post check task. From this point, the user has two options to either approve or roll back the changes. We will complete the approval process again from under the task viewer. We will click on the proceed. In case we click on roll back, then the previous config will be restored to the device from the backup file that we took as part of the workflow. Let's proceed ahead. Now what we see is that the workflow is completed and we have also verified that the new ACL config has been successfully pushed to the device. Now let's cover Cisco ACL Update Workflow. Here we have opened the workflow for Cisco Device ACL Update. Similar to the Juniper ACL Update Workflow, the first step is we need to provide some inputs to the workflow to progress ahead. These inputs will be the device ID, backup file name, config file name, etc. After providing the inputs, the workflow will check for the validity of the provided file name and finally it will run the pre-checks on the device. After this step, the user needs to give approval for the workflow to proceed further. 
Upon approval, a backup is taken from the device and the new config is pushed to the device. Upon the verification of the pushed config, we will move next to the post check step and also give a diff between the pre and post checks. The user can verify the post checks and also the diff. Upon verification of the post checks, the user can choose to approve or roll back the flow. Now let's execute a new instance of this workflow. We will first click on the start button to create a new instance. Now we will click on the submit after naming the instance. Now let's go to the action step to provide the required input to the workflow. We can select the workflow to run for IPv4, IPv6 or both. Let's select IPv6 as of now. Now we will select the device ID and give the backup and the new config file name along with the name of the ACL. From the task viewer, we can see that the workflow is progressing ahead and has completed the pre-check step. Once the user verifies the pre-checks, we can give the approval for the workflow to proceed ahead. After this, the backup file will be created and new config will be pushed to the device. We can verify the config changes related to the new IPv6 ACL config under the task details. We can scroll to the load new IPv6 config task. This is a task which will push the IPv6 config file to the device. Once I click on the task details, I can verify the actual configuration that has been pushed to the device. I can also verify the configuration. So the next task after the load task is the verify IPv6 ACL configuration. And herein, I run the command show run IPv6 access list on the Cisco device. We can see that the post checks are completed and we can also verify the diff between the pre and post checks. The user can select proceed or rollback after this step. In case of proceed, the device will successfully be updated with the new ACL config and the workflow will be finished. Thank you for joining today. This was the end of the video. Have a good day ahead.